welcome back to another all natural dips recipe from our kitchen to yours. Today we are making dilly chicken casserole using one of my favorite dips, cucumber delicious. So let's figure out what we need first to go in this. You're going to want three tablespoons of melted butter. You're going to need a one and a half cups of dressing mix. You do want to have a uh, can of cream of chicken soup. You're going to need one and a half cups of chicken. Ours is already cooked and ready to go. Uh, you want an entire package of that cucumber delicious. You can find it online at www.allnaturaldips.com. Then you're going to want two medium cooked red potatoes. Now we're using red potatoes, so they're already cooked. If you are using white potatoes, two medium ones, you don't have to cook them, but make sure that they're already diced before you put them in. All right. At the very end, we'll also need uh, a package of cheese and some onion, uh, fried onion topping as well to go on the top. Okay, so once you've got all of your ingredients, we're ready to start. Before you get started, make sure that you have adjusted your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit so it can go ahead and start preheating. Let's get started with our chicken mixture. You're going to need that chicken. Next, we're going to use the cream of chicken soup. Then we're going to add in the potatoes. Finally, we're going to add in that cucumber delicious mix. All right, sprinkle it right on top. Put all of it in there. No need to cut it in half or anything like that. And let's mix. Once your ingredients are combined together, you're ready to add them to your dish. Now we have already sprayed our dish so nothing will stick to the bottom. So don't forget that step. Now you're going to press your mixture across the bottom to make it nice and even. Now that you have your mixture in, you're going to add your first layer of cheese right across the top. We can set this to the side and start working on our topping. For your topping, you're going to take your stuffing and combine it with your butter. Once you've moistened the mixture a little bit, you're going to be ready to add it to the top of your dish. Make sure you spread it out evenly in all the corners. Now that you've covered it with the mix, you're going to add another layer of delicious cheese. All right, once you've added that cheese and you get a nice even layer on there, you're going to add the final ingredient, which is those fried onion pieces. And just kind of sprinkle them on, no rhyme or reason, just get them on there to make them taste really good. All right, once you've got those fried onions on, you are ready to put it in the oven. We are going to put our dish in the oven for about 25 minutes. Once again, remember everything in this dish is fully cooked, unless of course you added fresh white potatoes. And so all you're having to do is make sure everything is warm. We do wanna make sure that the cheese has been melted and that sort of thing, but we're not worried about making sure our chicken is cooked because it should already be. All right, let's get this in the oven. 
our dilly chicken casserole has come out of the oven. You want to let it cool for a bit so that it's ready for your family. But as you can see, we've actually uh, browned the top just slightly. You can see on the sides here that our cheese is also melted. You can also see that on the top. And now we are ready to serve. This is going to make a dish for a family of four. Uh, and don't forget, you can find all of our recipes and more at www.allnaturaldips.com, which is where you can also find Cucumber Delicious for this recipe, as well as all of our other spices and dips.